Hey everyone, so today we are going to be changing out the belt, the spindles, and the blades on my Husqvarna lawn tractor. Um, this will be the same thing as Craftsman and most brands. Um, the process will be uh, relatively the same. The reason why we're doing this is because I have one patch of grass that is not um, cutting. And I know it's not necessarily just the blade. I believe it's actually because one of my spindles is, um, is not um, spinning the way it should. The, what happens is the bearings wear out in the spindles and you can't even grease them. Um, so they just end up wearing out over time. So I'm gonna change out the spindles. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon. I had already changed out one, so I'm gonna change out the other two because um, I believe the center one's actually causing the problem. And while I'm in there, I'm just gonna change the belt because I've got everything apart and put new blades on it. Um, just because while I'm in there, you might as well just do it all. It's fairly inexpensive. So this is relatively simple to, to do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this deck off. Okay, the deck comes off with a, these pins. So you get a pin here, you get a pin back here, and you get a pin up front. And you've got the same thing on the other side. Um, some mowers will actually have a bar in the back and the center as well, which will hook on right here. Um, I took mine off. I never put it back on. Um, but if you do, you, you uh, need to pop the pin off of that one as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to pop all those pins off. And then on some mower decks like this one, you'll loosen this by just sliding it out. And you're going to let it out. Okay, you're going to unlatch it and let it out. What that does is, you can see under here, and you can see my belt has been burning because I think it's catching on that spindle. But what you're gonna do is, that will loosen it up so it'll make your belt nice and loose. So that way you'll be able to just slip the belt off. And what you're gonna do before you take the deck off is, once you get your belt loose, you're gonna slip it off of this pulley, which is on the motor. This is the front pulley. You're just gonna slip it off. And now your deck is free. So all you gotta do is take those pins out and you'll be able to pull this entire mower deck off of the um, off of the mower. Um, you'll act. You'll just want to make sure you lower your deck so it's actually on the ground, of course. But um, that's really all there is to it to get this off. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this deck off, and uh, then we'll show you what to do from there. All right. So it took me about two minutes at the most to get my mower deck out. Just slid it out from under the machine. Um, I have to remove these covers now. Okay, so there's a Torx bit, which is looks like a little star. Um, so if you don't have a set of Torx bits, uh, you will um, likely need that. Okay, I'm gonna take this cover off and this cover off. All right, we've got the covers off. Um, in my case, I had changed the one on the right um, previously. You can just tell it's, it's, it's all new. Um, one thing I wanted to remind you of, if you don't have a belt diagram, mine actually has a belt diagram right here. Um, make sure you take a picture because you want to remember how that belt um, goes on so that way you can remember for the next time. So all we've got to do in this case here now is we have to take this, this uh, pulley off. It comes off by loosening this one bolt. The best thing to use is an impact gun, but if you do not have an impact gun, you can still do it. You just have to flip this over. Um, let me stand it up so I can show you what I'm talking about. You'll have to flip this over. And um, just kind of stick a, a piece of wood or something in here where the blade is because it's going to spin. With an impact gun, you can prevent that. But um, if you don't have an impact gun, then you'll have to stick something in there. So first thing you're going to do, though, is take this bolt off. It holds the blade on, okay? So flip it upside down, take all, all your blades off on the spindles that you're gonna replace. And then you're gonna flip to the other side and you're gonna take that top bolt off. So I'm gonna pop these bolts off right now and take these blades off because I'm gonna change all three blades anyways. Okay, so we took those three off um, using our impact wrench. It was really simple, only took a few seconds. Um, it is a 16 millimeter um, bolt, so that's what you'll need. I'm gonna flip this back over and we'll take the top bolts off the other side. Okay, so we took the top bolts off of 
um, the spindles um, that hold the pulley on. Um, here's why I bought new pulleys. You, you, you know, they, they're cheap metal. They wear out. The teeth on those are kind of shot. Yours probably will be too, so spend the extra few dollars and just get new pulleys. So that way it's one less thing that you gotta worry about because these will round out and spin um, freely as well. So all you gotta do now is take these bolts off of here, these four bolts, and this entire spindle assembly is gonna drop through um, and, and, um, and then you'll be able to pull it out from the bottom. So we'll pull those out now. All right, so here's the spindles. Um, here's something that you wanna know. I broke half of the bolts off. That happens almost every single time. These are junk bolts and they take a lot of wear and tear. So literally four out of eight of the bolts snapped right off when I took them out. Um, it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna reuse this. Um, and the kit that I'm gonna put a link to comes with new bolts. So um, I would encourage you to use that link because um, it's one of the few kits that actually includes the bolts. Otherwise, you're gonna be buying bolts when you break yours off. All right, so here's our brand new one. Comes with the top bolt, um, comes with the grease uh, fitting, um, comes with all the four bottom bolts, and it actually comes with a new bolt to replace the one for the blade as well. Um, most kits don't come with that, which is pretty cool. I think this kit cost me about $20. Um, again, I'll drop a link to it in the comments section. Um, but it cost me about $20 on Amazon versus I think about $70 locally. Um, so definitely a big savings for sure. Um, so all we got to do is feed this through the bottom and um, bolt it back together. And, um, and then we'll put our pulley, which we have over here, back on the top, making sure our teeth are aligned first. All right, so now we're going to uh, put the mower blades on. This seems simple, but I just want to mention one thing. If you've never done them before, the mower blades will either say, you know, it'll say bottom or it'll say grass side down or whatever, or some of them will just have just a number stamped in them. All that matters is that the number or whatever it says it, that's stamped into the blade should be facing towards the grass. That means when you stick it on, when you stick it on, you'll be able to read the writing. If you can't read the writing when you stick it on, then it's backwards. It's really that simple. So as long as you can read the writing, then it will be facing towards the grass and you'll be all set. All right, so we've got all our blades back attached. I forgot to mention while I'm, while I'm underneath, I always just take an extra few minutes and scrape some of the old grass clippings that get stuck onto the edges off um, just because I think it's good maintenance to do. And while you're in there, what the heck, it only takes an extra few minutes. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and replace the belt. Um, you can see the belt is pretty worn. If your belt looks like this, just replace it. It's not very expensive. Um, you can pick them up from Home Depot, but I found that it's a lot cheaper on Amazon, like a lot of things. So this is a V-belt. You can see that it has an angle. So it has a flat side, and then the other side is more like a triangular shaped. So this is really pretty self-explanatory. If you don't have the guide that shows you exactly how it goes on, and you didn't take a picture, just look at each pulley, okay? So this one is a triangular shaped pulley. This one uh, is a flat pulley. This is a triangular shaped pulley. This is a flat pulley. Flat pulley, triangular shape. So what that tells you is the triangular side needs to face the, it, inwards on the triangular shaped pulleys and needs to be on the flat side on the flat side of pulleys. So you should be able to figure it out from there uh, if you don't have your diagram or just do a quick Google search. But so the only thing in order that you need to do to remove the belt is you'll have some sort of a safety arm just like this one. In this case, it's 14 millimeters. You just need to pop this off and then your belt will be removable. And then you just need to route the belt through according to your guide um, or the picture that you took before you took it apart. And that's really simple. So I am gonna replace this belt and I'm gonna slide this mower deck back under and then um, put it back together. Okay, so I thought I'd show you quickly. This is how the belt goes, um, in case you don't have your diagram. This is how it flows. Up here is going to be where it'll hook onto the motor. So now all we need to do is slide the mower deck back under the mower, hook up the clips, hook the front belt 
up ar around the motor and then we're going to pull uh, that lever to tighten everything back down and you should be all set so guys if you like this video please click the like button please click subscribe um, add a comment all of those things certainly help me the links to everything will be down in the comment section these are amazon affiliate links um, i certainly wish to disclose that i do get paid a few pennies um, every time you purchase through amazon so if you like the video show me some love um, please do purchase through the amazon affiliate links because that helps me be able to do more of these videos thanks a lot guys hope you have a great day and good luck with your project